Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss 14 men's wardrobe spring essentials, including clothes, shoes, and accessories. Don't you love the time of the year when the sun is shining outside, the grass is turning green, the flowers are blossoming, and you just feel invigorated? I love overcoats, but it's nice to get out your spring summer wardrobe, brighter colors, brighter accessories, and just enjoy life again outside. In regard to your wardrobe, it's very easy to make slight changes and instantly create a spring summer feel and look that helps you underline the season and stand out from the crowd. The first spring wardrobe item is loafers. Here you can see a tassel loafer in a suede olive green. It's quite casual. It's wonderful to wear and combine with seersucker or cotton chinos. On the other hand, you can also get a tan loafer, something in brown. It's a little more classic. Apart from the tassel loafer, you can also go for penny loafers, which are very versatile, especially during summer. For colors, most people prefer tan or a lighter shade of brown. Of course, you can also go with darker browns, but I think it's a great opportunity to go with more unusual colors, such as a light blue, maybe green or something in gray. Sometimes it can also look great to have spectators in two-tone colors or different materials such as suede and box calf. If you can just invest in one loafer, get one in burgundy because you can wear it with all kinds of things and it's a timeless investment into your wardrobe. The second item I want you to invest in is a pair of chukka boots that is unlined, which is typical for spring. It's soft, it is slightly above your ankle, but it's just a very cool look ideally in a tone of sand or tan or dark brown. You'll get lots of wear out of it and you won't regret investing in a pair. To learn more about loafers, please check out this guide here. And for checker boots, take a look at this video. Number three are shoelaces. It's a very small investment, but nothing changes the look of a pair of shoes as dramatically as just different colored shoelaces. For example, there's green, there's light blue, there's yellow, or something more subtle such as burgundy or purple. Fort Belvedere offers over 15 different colors of boots and shoelaces and you can find all of them in our shop. The wonderful thing about shoelaces is that it's not permanent and it's reversible. So you can take a red pair of shoelaces, put it into your black Oxfords, which creates a really different look. And if you don't like the look anymore, you can just exchange it and use a different pair of shoes. It's probably the biggest bang for the buck in this entire list. To learn how to lace your shoes properly, please check out this video. And number four is the polo shirt in vivid colors. Chances are you already have a white, a navy, and a gray polo shirt in your wardrobe. And while those are versatile, if you wanna spice it up a little bit, go with something that is vibrantly green, or yellow, or red, maybe orange, or sky blue mottled. Ideally, skip the floppy colors, get a dress shirt style collar, and to learn more about polo shirts and the intricacies, please go and watch our video series here. Item number five is the spring sport coat that can also be worn during summertime. Just like the one I'm wearing here right now, it has linen woven into the material, it gives it a more crinkly texture, the colors are lighter, and it's just a spring feeling, it's more airy, and that's what you should invest in. To learn more, please check out our in-depth video about the hallmarks of a quality spring-summer sport coat. Number six are chinos. It's a wardrobe staple for men because it can be worn to the office or dressed down and worn casually with a pair of boat shoes and a polo shirt. We already put together an in-depth guide about chinos with a video, so learn all about the details here. Number seven, use colorful socks. Personally, one of my favorites are colorful two-tone socks because you can pair them very easily because of the two different colors, but they're not over the top and too strong that you just stand out just the way you would do with taco crazy socks. To learn more about how to combine your socks with your pants and your shoes, please check out this video here. For summer, I suggest you go with lighter colors such as pink, light blue, maybe light gray, or green, or even yellow. The eighth item you should invest in is a casual belt. 
There are different kinds of casual belts. First of all, braided belts. They can either be made of an elastic material. And personally, I'm not too fond of them because they stretch out very easily. And although you don't have to find the exact size, I find over time they just lose their stretch and then they're too wide and you can't use them anymore. On the other hand, a stiff, all woven belt with rigid yarns, either all leather or mixed with cotton yarns, is very elegant, yet casual and it's perfect for spring and summertime. The good thing about it is that it won't wear out and it won't stretch out and you can wear it for years to come. Also, because of the two colors, it's easy to combine it, let's say, with a pair of espadrilles in the summer or with a dark brown pair of loafers. The other casual belts to look into are fabric belts. You can have like a soft fabric belt with D-rings made out of silk, or you can have stiffer ones that are backed by leather and have this mattress pattern or anything else for that matter. When you wear those bolder fabric belts, make sure they're contrasting your shorts or your pants so they create a harmonious look and don't try to match the color exactly to either your pants or your shirt because it will look odd. Item number nine are boldly colored neckties or bow ties. Because it's spring, you want something that's more vibrant, that is louder, and has a cool contrast with the rest of your outfit. Here, I'm wearing an orange mottled silk knit tie. I could have also worn this red matter silk bow tie or the blue and green silk knit tie. Alternatively, linen neckwear looks quite good. Silk always works. Stay clear of wool because it's too warm and not summery enough but a Cri de la Soie silk knit tie is really nice, and you can find all of these accessories in our shop here. Item number 10 is the open weave shirt. It's what I'm wearing here right now, and I really love it for springtime because it's open and airy, it has a crisp touch, and it allows the air to flow through so you don't overheat. When you hold it against a stark light source, you can actually even see through. That shows you how open the weave is, but when you wear it, it's not see-through and it's not like you can see your underwear through it because it's just a shirt. It still looks very professional, but it keeps you cool all day long. In terms of color, I suggest you stick with whites, maybe light blues or light pastel colors. Don't go with anything dark. Also, a lot of people like Oxford shirts, and while I personally like them, the weave is usually quite tight, and so it's not open, and therefore I prefer an open weave shirt in the summer. You can also look for linen cotton blends because it gives you that nice mottled color look paired with a crisper texture, and it's just wonderful for spring and summertime. Item number 11 is a trench coat. It's perfect for colder climates. It's also great for travel, especially in darker colors such as black or navy. Otherwise, go with a traditional khaki color. And if it has a wool liner that you can either zip in or button in, you extend the range you can wear it in, because if it gets too warm, you just take off the liner and you still have something that you could wear regularly over a suit or basically any other kind of classic menswear outfit. Item number 12 is the Harrington jacket. If you don't want to wear a trench coat, go for a Harrington jacket because it's also lightweight and sometimes they come in reversible options, such as this one in navy and in a madras check. I personally really like it because it's lightweight, I can bring it when I travel, and it has a sporty feel that I like to combine with spring summer outfits. To learn more about the Harrington jacket, you can check out this guide here. And for the trench coat, watch this video here. Item number 13 is the boutonniere. You see the nice, beautiful flowers outside, and sometimes you can just grab one, put it in your lapel, and it looks awesome. The problem is you rarely find those flowers. You don't want to steal them from someone. Often they wilt, and sometimes the pollen even stains your clothes. To learn more about the boutonniere, and how it's made, please watch this video and you can find our full selection of over 40 of them in our shop here. Item number 14 is the NATO watch strap. No matter what kind of watch you have, adding a fabric strap, such as the NATO watch strap, either in a classic navy and red or any other color under the sun, will instantly transform it into a more casual looking spring summer watch that's just perfect for this time of the year. To learn more about watch straps and how you can combine them, please head over to our watch strap guide here. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that little bell, that way you're notified whenever something new comes out, and make sure to go to our channel where we have lots of other videos dealing with wardrobe essentials and do's and don'ts, as well as how-to tutorials.